the significant relates in, in two different sort of aspects. One's directly to Alzheimer's disease, and one's sort of more to a general concept of of what can be drugged, as we refer to, which I'll elaborate on in just a moment. But um, my laboratory and other um, colleagues um, who we collaborate with have been working on a class of molecules uh, called gamma secretase modulators, or GSMs for short, that um, have been advanced to the clinic for the treatment of Alzheimer's disease. And these work in a, in a very unusual way in that they seem to directly target production of a pathogenic form of the amyloid beta peptide that accumulates in somebody's brain who develops Alzheimer's disease and uh, seems to really cause, that accumulation seems to cause the disease. So uh, we've been trying to understand how these work and what their true molecular target is. And uh, our studies led us to quite a surprising result that has and some implications for Alzheimer's disease and a broader implications with respect to drug discovery. With respect to Alzheimer's disease, what our, our data show is that these compounds actually target um, a substrate of an enzyme rather than the enzyme itself, and that target is, in this case, the amyloid beta protein precursor. And by doing this, this is how they alter the production of this amyloid beta peptide that's generated from this precursor protein. And um, that shifts cleavage, which if we reduce the, form, the production of the longer form, we think is good. And it actually increases the production of a shorter form of A-beta peptides or shorter forms. And that is also, we think, is good and would be protective from Alzheimer's disease. And in addition, they bind that the region that they bind of the APP is actually contained within the product, the amyloid beta peptide that's produced. So, the third way that they might be beneficial is that once a beta is produced, in order for it to have its toxic effects, it has to aggregate, and these compounds, therefore, might inhibit aggregation. And so collectively, these three actions might work synergistically to help these drugs um, uh, you know, delay or alter the symptoms of, delay the onset of, or alter the progression of, of Alzheimer's disease. Um, and that's important it's just important to understand how drugs work um, because obviously the, the drug that we identified and is now in human testing for Alzheimer's disease that's called terenflurable or Flurazan um, uh, was a drug that was pre-existing and being tested for something else. So it's probably not optimized for these properties. And if we wish to make better drugs along this case, knowing what the molecular target is will certainly help with that that effort, and there's a lot of data to support that at least this generic class of drugs um, can have utility in terms of preventing or treating Alzheimer's disease.